In my previous video, C and C++ concept 06, clarification between declaration and definition, Mr. Deepak asked me, please make a video on extern template and template DEF. In this session, I will talk about extern template. About template type DEF, I will fill in in next video. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 11th, 2019. This is my 23rd episode about template method programming. In this episode, we will learn what is implicit instantiation and what is explicit instantiation. To understand what is extern template, we have to understand what is instantiation first. For more about template method programming, please click these links. In C++ template metaprogramming series, you can learn more about advanced C++ technique. Start Visual Studio 2017 from File, New, Project, select Windows Desktop, Windows Desktop Wizard, solution name will be Implicit Explicit Instantiation Solution. Project name will be Implicit Explicit Instantiation. Click OK. Please unselect pre-compiled header. Select Empty Project. Click OK. If Solution Explorer is not displayed, click this button. Or go to View. Click Solution Explorer like this. We will add two files. Right click Source Files. Add new item. Click source cpp. So we added one file here. Right click once again. Add new. Then say object. Click OK. Click add. In source cpp file here, include IO stream, int main. First, we will learn what is instantiation. We will first learn what instantiation Asian means in classic or conventional C and C++ programming instantiation means reserve memory for object here type determines memory layout once an object is instantiated at compile time its reserved memory is mapped at link time and physical memory is allocated at runtime. I will talk more about reserved or mapped or allocated these things in some future sessions. INT A, we are instantiating an object of type INT named A, or A is also called identifier because A, the name, identifies an object in memory. So, in classic C and C++, instantiation means reserve memory for an object. An object is anything that has its reserved memory. An instance is an object of a specific type. I create another object, double D, A, this A, is an object. This D is also an object. A is an instance of type int. D is an instance of type double. Instantiation means reserve memory for an object of a specific type. So we clarified what is an object, what is an instance, and what instantiation means. The definition for instantiation I articulated so far is classical or conventional definition. In template metaprogramming, instantiation means something very different. The result of the instantiation in template metaprogramming is not an object or instance but specialization. In case of class templates, the result of the instantiation is a concrete 
type and in case of function template the result is a function type or a concrete function type as i said previously type determines memory layout type determines memory layout which determines memory alignment and memory size to reserve for the object i will elaborate about specialization in next video i will change the function name concept of instantiation in classic c cpp save and we have to return here int main save all now show in solution explorer click object we define a template function template type name t t sum t a here t b return a plus b in function main std c out 2 plus 3 equals sum 2 3 std and there we have to inform the compiler what is sum so we declare template type name t t sum t a t b we declared save now control f5 so it complains a is undefined local variable i will just make settings like this also d here this is to prevent complaining control f7 to compile only so template declaration are permitted on the global space global or namespace i will copy this part in the global space here now control f7 compile only so it compiled successfully but if we press ctrl f5 it does not work so it does not work it means we have link time error unresolved external symbol this is link time error so we instruct in this file we instruct to instantiate this function like this template int sum int int we instruct the compiler to instantiate function template sum int now here control f5 so this is the result of our program please note that we explicitly explicitly instruct the compiler to instantiate function template sum int this is function template definition this is function template declaration now i disabled this explicit instantiation i disabled and saved here select this source file from build compile ctrl f7 so cpp compiled successfully because we declared the sum template sum this template declaration provides the stack frame of function sum so it compiles successfully but if we control f5 this is build then we have link error saying unresolved external symbol int int sum this function is not resolved it means the code is not generated this link error i copied and pasted it here means that the code of the function body of sum is not generated so if we enable it and control f5 again then it builds successfully so in case of function in case of function template the result of instantiation is a function type this is actually not correct I have to fix a concrete function type with code for the function body. I have to fix like this, save. To give you better understanding about explicit instantiation, I will copy this part of code and paste it. I change like this. I press Ctrl F5. It does not work. 
So here we instruct another instantiation. Now this time we change it into double and double, double. I instantiated like this. Now Ctrl F5. It still does not work, but if we change it into double, then it should work. Now it works because this is explicit instantiation explicit instantiation of function template sum for double. If we copy this once again, now I change into unsigned u. And delete this part, Ctrl F5. It does not work. I have to instantiate once again. I copy it and now it becomes unsigned and unsigned. Ctrl F5 again. Okay, it now works. At the beginning of this episode, in template meta programming, instantiation means something very different. The result of instantiation in template meta programming is not an object or instance, but specialization. But this is actually incorrect. What they mean is that from the perspective of template function sum, this explicit instantiation for sum is a specialization of this function template. Also, in this case, sum is a specialization of this function template. Also, this sum is a specialization of this function template. In this sense, this is correct. In template metaprogramming, the result of instantiation is specialization. In this respect, this is correct. But if we see it carefully, this instantiation actually create code, resolves code for sum. Also in this case, resolves memory. Also in this case, explicit instantiation resolves memory for this unsigned INT case. So more correctly, Instantiation reserves memory in case of a function template. Please note that this function is very simple. So we introduce another type. For example, type, type name s, and I introduce s like this, and I would change s and save all. Here, I would change type name s, and this is s. This is S. Ctrl F5. It should work successfully. But what about this? I copy once again. Copy. And this is integer. This is unsigned. Now Ctrl F5. Now it doesn't work. We have to provide another explicit instantiation like this. Now it should be INT. And this is INT. This is unsigned INT. Ctrl F5. Sorry, it should be INT, Ctrl F5. Now it works. Now copy it once again. Now this time, this is unsigned INT. This is INT, unsigned INT. This is INT. Then we should explicitly instantiate once again. Now this is unsigned, and this is unsigned, and this is INT. Now Ctrl F5. Okay, it works. What we have learned from this lesson is something this. Explicit instantiation in template metaprogramming gets out of hand very easily. Since this function is rather simple, explicit instantiation is possible. But if we create another function, for example, template, type name, types, auto, summation, Types ARGS return plus ARGS. To use this function, Solution Explorer, we have to use C17 standard. Okay, in this case, this periodic template, how can it instantiate this summation? In case of very edit templates, we cannot explicitly instantiate. In summary, explicit instantiation is 
not meant for usual use of templates with explicit instantiation we can hide the implementation of templates and we can save compiling and linking time but it easily gets out of hand that is do not use explicit instantiation in c plus plus 11 standard they introduced extern template extern template enables us to use explicit instantiation as well as implicit instantiation in some case explicit instantiation using extern templates can save us huge compiling and linking time especially when we build huge number of files that use the same function templates or class templates i will close all documents and open solution in the header right click add new item header file click here template type name s type name t auto no just s pro s s t s then return s times t like this please note that we define the function template template int pro int int this is explicit instantiation here from this syntax i copy and paste it we append extern like this it means function template pro is explicitly instantiated somewhere so do not implicitly instantiate and we can create another one template int double once again double double int like this we can create more extons like this save now in this file we will include this definition this header file include header then let's see side by side we here explicitly instantiate i will copy this copy it then i remove please note that explicit instantiation should be done in cpp file like this i saved now in source file we also include include header and scroll down here std c out two times three pro two times three std and there in this case because int int product is defined here defined it will not be instantiated now let's build control f5 now it worked but we have warning message let's see what's the warning okay here static cast s like this save then control f7 okay it works without any warning control f5 it works successfully so extern template int pro it means function template pro is explicitly instantiated somewhere so do not implicitly instantiate and we ask explicit instantiation in this case here pro will not implicitly instantiate because it was instructed not to implicitly generate or instantiate please note that we have not defined in case of short and short so if we copy this or unsigned unsigned this is int 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 double double int if we pass it u u unsigned int unsigned int unsigned int this still works 
because it was not explicitly instantiated but it will be implicitly instantiated now control f5 it runs okay i hide this solution here in this cpp file object cpp file void test form and i copy these two program i paste it here and i need io stream include io stream scroll down please compare these two functions now in this case pro in this case pro because we made it explicit instantiation it will not be instantiated here and in this file this function will be instantiated anyway in this case this is instantiated only once but in this case this function and this function will instantiate in both files unsigned pro unsigned unsigned will be instantiated in this file also this file at uh, this function will be instantiated here too so this function is instantiated twice once in source cpp file and once in object cpp file in this case it will be instantiated only once in this case it will be instantiated only once only once in this file for example i will open a real production level application from file open this is MPIR package and I open MPIR solution. If I open it, this is source file like this. This is written in C program in C language, but suppose it is written in C++. There are a lot of source files and if these all source files include function template or class templates and if all these C files generate or instantiate the specific template function then the compile time and link time will be greatly impacted. So if we can use extern template wisely, we can greatly improve compiling and linking time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.